Good morning. Uh, I would like to quickly uh, introduce the company I'm representing uh, to you, the Permas Delisa Group. Uh, we consider ourselves to be a specialist in uh, curtain mowing and interior products. We are a project-based enterprise with design and uh, as a core value and activity, uh, we are a global uh, network as organization and since 2011 we are part of Lixel Corporation. Uh, our brands in the group uh, are uh, uh, Pumas Lisa as such. We have also Gartner since 2000 and Schaldebau in Europe since 1995. Uh, we are present in uh, four continents with a network of more than 50 companies, including 16 design offices and 11 production plants in 30 different countries. Uh, some of our realizations are the, the Bateman Tower in uh, New York, uh, Bilbao, uh, the Guggenheim Museum, the Jin Mao Tower, uh, which you can now also look at from the inside. Uh, the DG Bank, uh, complicated steel and glass construction in Berlin. Uh, the two international finance center in Hong Kong. Uh, as an interior fit-out project, the uh, Condé Nast Cafeteria in New York. What do we uh, want to do with our product and projects? Uh, what do we uh, focus on, we, we focus on uh, energy and comfort, which we call our ultra technology. We, comfort, uh, we concentrate on safety and security, which we call the Testudo technology, and we concentrate on alternative systems and materials, which we call alter technology. Um, now I come to the actual subject of my, my presentation, uh, the design process of complex architectural facades. Facades form the, identity, form the identity and give functionality to high-rise and also, of course, other buildings. The design process to come to an architectural accepted and functional facade of bespoke and most of the time complex buildings is not a single process we have to realize, but a simultaneous and cross-disciplinary activity. Uh, we have been thinking about this over the last five to ten, ten years and, and wanted to let's say, revisit our approach and come to the conclusion that we had to think on, on a building level rather than a component level with our product, that we needed a holistic system performance achieved by iterative design approach, including design to specification, cost program, and appearance. Uh, we needed effective uh, and reliable uh, decision-making in design and design streamlining and efficiency for ourselves. Uh, what means thinking on building level from a curtain wall pers uh, perspective? Um, um, thinking on building rather than component level uh, means for us, uh, because the, the, the building performs as well as the sum and interaction of all its components, that we look at the whole building environmental design integration in terms of energy saving, renewables, comforts, etc. More obvious, of course, is, is air and water tightness and building movements the interface with other companies like frames, roofs, partitioning, ceilings. The behavior of, of, the, of the curtain wall uh, together uh, with the building in, 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 in the condition of fire or, or, or blast attack and of course the architectural intent. Uh, the, the, the facade is a very important uh, um, component of the building and, and has to work in the building from a point of architecture of course. Um, what means uh, holistic uh, system performance? Um, uh, holistic system performance uh, has to be achieved by iterative design approach, including design to specification, cost, program, and appearance. And it's covering a lot of things, all the, the, the items which have to do with our business. And, and we have to know the interaction between it and what is the effect of one item on the other. In other words, uh, we have to realize ourselves that if we push here, that we know that it hurts there, and the picture says it's maybe in a more positive way. Um, effective and reliable decision-making in design. Um, obvious requirement there is, is knowledge, uh, no, uh, theoretical knowledge, but also empirical knowledge, test results, failures, etc. Uh, effective designing often means being aware of the various effects of all design parameters at the right time. As, uh, what, what, what doesn't work uh, in favor of that is uh, isolated specialist knowledge, uh, which gives a slow communication. Uh, often we have too many cooks in the kitchen, I have to say. 
there are not enough uh, reliable tools and software in the industry, uh, and therefore uh, we use uh, too much time of total project program uh, by preparation, which might create a time stress execution with potential risks. Uh, the way it works is that it is not so much um, uh, coordinated, it is not overlapping each other, and, and we're talking in circles uh, uh, all the time, and, 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 and finally we come to a kind of forced solution. <coughs> if you look at the total process uh, uh, from an initiative to build to practical completion, and you see the time we take for design and preparation and the time we have for execution, we can ask ourselves the question, can this be shorter? And therefore, we came to the conclusion that we need uh, software and tools giving uh, reliable and benchmarked information to enable quick iterative design process used by a multidisciplinary orientated design team, which is more like that, where, where the disciplines are overlapping each other and they know what they are talking about uh, in, in terms of another area. And so we can come to much quicker and, and more reliable and better uh, solutions. Um, tools, uh, as a result of this thinking, we have developed uh, ourselves a number of tools to realize this kind of uh, iterative and, and, and quick design, <coughs> making decisions. I will show you a few of them. We have three examples. We have the Energy Performance Building Directive tool, the Acoustic tool, and the BLAST tool I want to show you. The uh, en en Energy Performance Building Directive tool uh, we have a tool now that at any place in the world, uh, for whatever building, uh, for whatever orientation, with whatever climate, we can immediately predict the carbon emission and the overall energy uh, consumption. And this helps us a lot in our design process to make a quick decision. You see a number of examples of all kinds of facades using different glasses and, and, and sun blades. And as, a, as, a, as an example, what we have marked in red, uh, for instance, uh, there is a lot of talk today, for, uh, especially in Europe, the tipple glass uh, glazing is helping us a lot because, uh, for instance, the U-value is fantastic. On the other hand, the closed cavity facade, which is uh, a double skin facade and is one of our latest developments, has, a, has not such a good um, U-value. But if we use the tool and we use a, an all-year uh, approach in a dynamic way, we come to the conclusion that the, the, the overall energy consumption of the CCF is a lot better than the one of the triple glazed units. And this, this is very important to use in, in the design phase, especially in the early design phase. If we look at that, uh, today the, the, the EPDB requirements are becoming much and more stronger, so we cannot live anymore with just uh, choosing the cheapest solution and then live with uh, the, re the result of the energy consumption. Uh, uh, we have to look at increased uh, requirements and also that there is a requirement for renewal, renewable energy replacing uh, the, the carbon emission ones. Uh, and, and of course we have to realize that uh, the more energy saving we do in, generally, in general, uh, uh, the less renewable uh, energy we have to provide, and renewable energy at the, at the moment is still quite expensive. We had a building in uh, London, the Heron Tower, where we really approached it like that with, uh, with this tool, and you saw that the double glazed unit, uh, curtain wall base, give um, uh, energy consumption, as you, you, you see in the left figure, and the one for uh, double skin facade interactive wall on the right, and we were able to, to, to apply a combination on that, on the east and the west uh, facade. We used the, 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 the double skin facade, and on the north we could use uh, a, a traditional um, uh, double, uh, uh, double glazed unit based facade. On the south, we uh, managed together uh, with the team that uh, all the lifts were located there, so the impact was not so high, but that was the place where we could do PV cells in the laminated glass, and that was providing the renewable requirement. And at the end of the day, when the building was finished, the Heron Tower received a bream excellent rating for offices. Uh, another design tool I want to show you is, the, is a design tool for acoustics. There, there's not a lot of knowledge at the moment, or was not a lot of knowledge, of the acoustic performance of double skin facades. 
Uh, we have built uh, um, a laboratory for ourselves uh, for full-scale testing, and we have developed software to uh, calculate the acoustic performance, and we have benchmarked that with a great number or, or a large number of tests in our uh, laboratory. In, in the scheme, you see that a massive wall is giving you a certain performance for um, acoustics. Uh, the double glass uh, based uh, curtain wall is a lot lower. Uh, we can beef that up by, by using an acoustic glass, but you see that the double, uh, uh, the double facade, uh, double skin facades in itself are performing in, in the same area as a massive wall. We also have uh, developed, let's say, an audio visual tool for that to make uh, quick um, uh, deci uh, decisions. Uh, which I have to do on a, on a distance if my colleague now uh, would like to... Uh, 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 you can hear the noise of, of an airplane with a traditional facade, and then you hear what you hear inside. Hank, does it work? So now you hear what it can hear what it means. So this is the plane outside. <laughs> this was this is what you hear inside. If we use a better uh, glazing system, again you can hear what uh, what the plane is outside. And now you hear also what it is inside. So it's already a lot better. And now I give you the same example with uh, a double skin facade. And this is the result of a double skin facade. So by using this tool, which is really benchmarked uh, with, with tests in the software, we can, in an early stage, we can talk a lot about what the effect is of certain ap applications. And it's, it's an exciting exercise, as you could, uh, as you could hear. Uh, another uh, software I, 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 and tool I would like to show you is the one we developed for, uh, for the blast, uh, the blast resistance of curtain wall. Uh, we, 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 we developed our technology, we looked at the threat, we looked at the system, we were already early convinced that the system had to be a coupled system, it couldn't be the, the let's say, cooperation of all components. Uh, we looked at the hazards, we looked at loads, uh, the, 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 the behavior of components in the facade, like the mullion, like the brackets, like the laminated glass, and the protection level in terms of what kind of elements could be projected inside the building under a blast attack. Uh, and, and we developed our proprietary facade system and software for facades, but also for cable net facades, because they are most of the time on the ground floor and therefore are very vulnerable for bomb, bomb, bomb attacks. We did uh, a great number of, uh, a large number of, uh, of tests in the desert of Arizona and the quarries in, in Scotland. And so we developed our uh, software, which we now use for the design and we get uh, the information of the, the coupled performance of all the components of the curtain wall. And as you see, we have already uh, served a number of in, in, uh, important projects uh, in the world for that. Um, then finally, I come to the design streamlining, uh, streamlining and efficiency. This is more something for our own process as curtain walling, but I, I think it will apply also to other design processes. We, uh, uh, we generate information over time. Uh, and the information is what it is, but also we came to the conclusion that during the process we lose information at certain points, for instance, from tender to design and from design to production. And at the same time, we used a lot of uh, off-the-shelves or internally developed applications of software which were not coordinating and, and this was not wor working very well. So the aim we have that is, is we wanted to have earlier and more reliable information uh, as you see in, in this picture. Um, and the strategic objectives were increased in efficiency, reduced time to market, global capacity management and risk reduction. 
The system in itself works, uh, if you look from the bottom, with the use of, of standard tools of Autodesk and SAP, but a lot of customized uh, software connecting this all together. We make a 3D model, project structure, assembly configuration, cost per unit, and 3D drawings. We bring them in a PMF configurator, and it gives us estimated cost bills of materials, shop drawings, etc., following the flow of our process. In detail, this is working as you, sh as you see here I won't go into the details but this is what the configurator is doing and at the end of the day we have the tool we have the we have the 3d the building model with uh, configurations definition a list of projects which is actually the subdividing of our project component and materials and indeed it proves that we get the information better more reliable and earlier and we would be able to reduce our lead time from contract award to starting on the sites uh, what, is the, the, what can be an effective use of the tools? I, uh, we believe that the control way to maximize the effect of the use of holistic tools is the so-called pre-construction service agreement, uh, where the curtain wall company can act as a co-curtain wall consultant to achieve design to architectural intent, budget, specification, performance, and program. There are a lot of advantages to that, from uh, the design is carried out at a prescribed client fixed budget to the utilization of curtain wall contractor knowledge database. And uh, over the last year, we have done a few impressive buildings on that base, like the Heron Tower, Shard, Bakeman Tower, a, uh, a project in the Netherlands, and, and, and the Elb Philharmonie building in Hamburg in Germany. Uh, finally, I would like to show you a few holistic uh, design examples. The first one is uh, the tech facade, which means tin environmental cladding. This is a no metal curtain wall. There is, there is no piece of metal in the curtain wall. It's, it's made from pultrusions. This is a cooperation with Fiberline in Denmark. And pultrusions are uh, uh, fiber reinforced resins of which we make uh, uh, profiles and we glue them uh, together. Um, the, the, there were all kinds of things uh, we had to look at at the same time. For instance, the sound isolation was an important thing because we are talking here about uh, a, a light uh, uh, material. Uh, and uh, due to the tool we had on the acoustic, in the acoustic side, we could make the measurements in the uh, in the design uh, to achieve, achieve the, uh, the sound in insulation requirements. The facade is thin due to the property of the material. Thin means that we win space which can be translated in, in lettable area in commercial buildings. It's environmental because the, 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 the panel is also translucent. It lets in uh, uh, daylight and therefore uh, the, 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 the total uh, energy consumption is, is low. Also the average uh, U value can be good and the embodied energy is, is fantastic. There is also an architectural uh, aspect in it. We use uh, translucent uh, insulation so during the day the daylight is coming in and in the evening when the lights are in the building can get a, a, a sort of glowing another example of a holistic design was the use of a double skin facade to get together with um, a, a building control uh, uh, system uh, where we wanted to achieve that on on the roof level in the building we could control uh, the, the, the comfort and uh, the energy performance. We know with double skin facades, the, the saving can be 25% uh, uh, in terms of energy consumption compared with a traditional one. But the more dynamic and, 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 and the more uh, you control, uh, let's say, the, the blinds in, in a glass facade, this uh, uh, advantage uh, uh, can be greater. Uh, and, and, and this is a system we, 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 we have uh, developed uh, on the base of the CCF. The, the CCF is closed cavity facade, maintenance-free sustainability, we call it. Um, if we look at the development of uh, and how we come to this product and the development of do double skin facade, we started with um, double skin facade with, with deep cavities where we understood that we had uh, to have an enormous amount of ventilation. Uh, and, and that ventilation was important. Due to further investigation, 
uh, we came to the conclusion that maybe this ventilation is not so important. We used it again in, in a thinner facade. Uh, we helped the, the ventilation with a fan uh, to increase the ventilation and then find out through our tools that this ventilation was not really contributing to the, to the solar gain factor uh, and to the thermal performance. And then we continued to use thin double skin facades with natural ventilation. Uh, but we're asking ourselves, why are we uh, doing this? Maybe we can do without uh, ventilation. In France, they made some attempts with the façade respirant, which is a facade which is closed and has some holes and can breathe. But there were many problems with condensation and with pollution. And then we started uh, to develop what we called uh, the, the closed cavity facade, the M3S, where on top of the advantages of double skin facade, like high energy performance, high visual comfort, high acoustic performance, increased protection from solar heat gains, we also added no cavity condensation risk, uh, a greater effective floor area, we, because you don't need openable parts, which will lose some area uh, inside. And, and low maintenance requirements, which will save a lot of money. In, 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 in order to do this, we have to insert continuously dry air in the cavity, which we do through a compressor system, which is integrated with this facade in the building. And, the last, and, and, and at the moment, we are now realizing this kind of facades in England, in Switzerland, and also here in Shanghai. Um, the last holistic design example I would like to, to, to present is, is one in the field of BLAST. BLAST design is based on a balanced distribution of the system deformability and interaction of all components. And no one element of the facade uh, appreciable uh, should be stiffer than the others and it should uh, work like a, like a coupled system. Um, we, we, we had a question on the table where people wanted us to, to, to achieve it traditionally with a, a lot of re steel reinforcement in the millions of the, of the facade um, and, and, and look at that uh, this way. And through the BLAST uh, tools we have uh, developed, we could do the comparison. And at the end of the day, we came to the conclusion that the holistic uh, approach integrated without the steel uh, reinforcement. Uh, there the glass remained intact. We had no fragment hazards. There was a greater million deformation, which is good because it absorbs the energy. We had uh, equivalent reactions and, and therefore also a cheaper design. Whilst the elemental approach with the steel in it had the glazing cracked, had hazardous fragments, lesser frame rotation, and it an ex was a ex more expensive solution. This is uh, what I wanted to say to you, and on behalf of Permacelisa Gardner and Scalbo, I thank you for your attention. <laughs>